Remember the movie Oklahoma and I'm just a girl who can't say no? That's me. So a friend of mine asked me if I wanted a bunch of stair posts. So these are naturally slanted at the bottom and the top. Of course I said yes. And also there were a bunch of spindles. Well, they were also stair posts, but they're the more decorative kind. So I was thinking about a blanket ladder. And, you know, rather than I was going to go get uh, like one by threes, maybe for the sides. But then I saw those plain ones and I thought, you know, I'm just going to glue and use joining plates or mending plates. That's what these are. And just double it up and then I'll paint over it and no big deal. So I did just that. It was real easy to screw into those. I used like one and a quarter inch screws and screwed those sides together. And like I said, I did glue it with a lot of wood glue and clamped it overnight. But I just wanted to make sure that it was going to stay together because if people put heavy blankets on there, I certainly wouldn't want it to come apart. So I flipped them over and I was trying to decide whether to put more mending plates on the other side because it really seemed sturdy, but I did want to be safe. So I went ahead and applied the mending plates to the other side as well. So here are the curvy spindles. So I measured down about an inch and a half from the last curve and I decide to cut on either side and those will be the spindles for the ladder. I'm using my jigsaw and it cuts through with no problem. Until I had a problem. This was me not being set up very well. So for whatever reason, I decided to try the circular saw and that really didn't work at all. <laughs> I must have had the, the blade depth uh, not deep enough because it wasn't going through. So had to go two cuts with that and that's never really a good cut. So I went back to the jigsaw. And I had no problems cutting the rest of my pieces. Now it's time to attach the spindles to the side rails. And I measured down from the top 12 inches for my first spindle.
I used the drill and put a hole in uh, the sides of each side rail and then uh, one into the end of the spindle and ran a two and a half inch screw through each one. The first time I used a bit that was too big. Fortunately it bit into the spindle. And then I used a smaller bit for the rest. I did the other side and then I measured down 12 inches from the top spindle for the next one. When I measured 12 the next time I ran into those mending plates so I added an extra 2 inches. That way if they have a heavier quilt or blanket we have allowance for that. And then after that I measured another 12 inches. So in total I have 4 spindles one 12 inches from the top, the next one 12 inches down, the next one 14 inches down, and the next one 12 inches down. Now it's time to paint. I used a color from Dixie Belle called Juniper. It's a special release for the fall and it won't be around for a long time, but I really just love the color. So now I do a light sanding on the piece, a little bit on the edges, and I especially want the tops of the rungs to be smooth so that when people put their blankets on there, they won't catch anything, and I'll just smooth down the paint. And next I take some Easy Peasy Spray Wax and spray uh, all the spindles and the side rails and wipe it back. This is the quickest way I know to wax a piece of furniture. 
And then I take some brown wax from Dixie Belle and I'm just going in all the details of those spindles. And then I wipe that back a little bit and that's all there is to it. I am done. So I hope you like this. Are you ready to see it? Okay, I think it looks really sharp. And like I said, it naturally leans against the wall because of the way that the stair uh, banisters are. So I really think it turned out pretty good. It's a little rough, but it was my first one and I wanted to try it. So um, where the pieces meet, I just painted over the mending plates and I didn't bother to put any fill in there. You can see the screws. I think it's meant to be kind of rustic, so I'll put it in the shop and we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecor altuna. Stay well.